y'all on bite. This is cooking with Till. I told y'all I'll be back today for game day. And here I am. Yes. What I prepared for you today to go along with my tailgate for my game for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, baby, yes. Right now, what I'm finna do is mix up a simple dip to go along with some club crackles. Then I'm gonna make some homemade dirty rice. Then we're gonna do some wings. And we're going to do the fully loaded uh, fries. So let's get started. This is cooking with tip, y'all. Yes. So right now, the thing you need is some sour cream, some crab meat. This is the imitation crab meat, y'all. And I got the Hilly Valley Ranch. I got the cloves and onion and the spicy ranch. That's all you need for this simple dip, y'all. Okay? So we're going to start off mixing and putting the sour cream in the bowl. I'm gonna put just, I'm not gonna put the whole thing, but somewhat the whole thing. You got me? A little over half of this. This is a uh, 48 ounce. I had to get the big one because I got some other stuff I'm gonna do with the rest of the side of crap. So, a little over half, y'all. That's all you need. And this is self, and they're going to love it on them crackers, baby. Even if they want to put it on chips, they can. Yes. And we're going to take this imitation crab meat off of him. I like to cut mine down a little bit. Still a little chunky, but cut it up. And I'm going to sizzle it on that uh, plate over there, I made, you know. This just a simple little dipping dip. Yeah. A little different than a French onion dip and all that that people be getting. Now you can leave it chunky if you like, but I like to cut mine up a little bit. Just something quick, simple, and easy. Just an idea, y'all. Just an idea. None too fast and none too fast. Cause this is cooking with tip and I never stir you wrong, baby. Never stir you wrong. This ain't no real fancy dip, but it's one that's really, really good. I'm telling you. Cooking with tip. Cooking with tip? That's right, baby. Yeah. What's that? You know what? I got a question for you. Are you aware that that robe that you're wearing isn't going to be We all do. And this is a, how many ounces of this crab meat this is? This is a one pound family value size of the uh, crab meat we're putting in here. As you can see, it's plenty in there too. Okay, chop that in. Then like I said, we got the uh, Hidden Valley dip, chives of onion. We're going to put this whole pike in there. And we're going to use half of the ranch, spicy ranch one. Just half of that. Because I'm going to put some of that on my wine, y'all. Throw that in there. It's going to get a little kick, but not too much of a kick. So just a little half a pipe of the spicy ranch. That's all you do. And we fold this in, y'all. This is a quick little simple dip. That's going to be real good and tasty. Look at that, y'all. And you put it in the refrigerator, let it chill. Yes, indeed, y'all. Yes. Mm-hmm. And guess what, y'all? This dip is ready. That's just real quick and simple. Oh, and I'm gonna add some green onions on top, y'all. You can put some in it, but I'm gonna just put a little bit on top. Just my little garnish. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put some in Hey 
y'all. I got two little stems of green onions that I'm going to chop off in here. And save a little bit of green to go on top. Where's the puppy? Come out something that's good, y'all. This is very, very good. I'm just putting stuff everywhere, y'all. And it's going to go well because, you know, I use the chives and onion based uh, mix anyway. That one's going to go. That's how you just chop that off in now. They're going to go wild for it, y'all. They're going to go wild for it. Then we're going to put a little bit on top. I'm going to fold this off in now. Yeah, baby. Some good, simple dip. And I like to eat it with the club crackers or whatever crackers you like. Or you do it with chips, wave chips, whatever. And that's it. That's ready. I'm gonna move this mess out my way. Cleaning this next to godness, y'all. Y'all already know. I'm going to get this tray here. And this how I like to send mine up. Get your crackers. There you go, baby. You ain't got to be all night to put your crackers on now. Crackers? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They going to love it, y'all. But y'all gonna hear from my people today. They gonna uh, bless y'all with their presence as we enjoy the festivities of the game. And they gonna tell you how this uh, game gonna be. There you go. Take the get. Here, cameraman, cause you messing up my bowl. Here you go. Try that out. See what you making me do. Make him a mess up. Next time you see the stuff in the boat, how I do it right here. There you go. Oh. Um. Mm. Boom. Come on the mic. And then you can put some more onions on the top. Yes. Good talk. 
Y'all try to say home. This is good for any event too. I try to incorporate everything I can for any event. The day is for the game day. Y'all see how pretty that is? And I'm done. That's on the money, y'all. That's on the money. They gonna go crazy. They gonna go crazy. Now I'm setting up as I cook today. But like I say, we finna do it, do this here up. So this gonna be my little, one of my little trays, you know. But next I'm gonna be making some homemade dirty rice. I'll be right back at you, y'all. Now we finna prepare the dirty rice. Yes. So what I got, I got some pre-balled rice I already cooked and um, put in my pan. As you can see, it's still hot. Right here I got some onion. Red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, orange bell pepper, and green bell pepper in there. For my seasoning, I got some paprika, some onion powder, garlic powder, complete. Y'all know the tonus, baby, the tonus. Little hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce. Okay? Now we got already on the stove. I got my ground beef. I got three pounds of ground beef on the stove. Come on, cameraman, follow me over to your place. So, right now I got three pounds of ground beef in here, grind down. Only thing I put in here was a little, a little, a lyris. The only thing I got in my ground beef. So, we just grinding this down for your dirty rice. Over in this here pan, I'm going to put a stick of butter. And then I'm going to add my onions and bell peppers and stuff in it. Saute them down a little bit to go toss off in your dirty rice, okay? So when this meat get done, we're gonna strain that fat off there. Sometimes I like to keep a little of that fat, but since I'm using the butter, I don't need it. And I'm gonna add a little with shark sauce to my meat too, but we're also gonna add it when we put it in the pan. So I'm gonna add a little with shark sauce to this. About three tablespoons. And let that finish cooking down. Okay. Then like I said over here, we're finna add the uh onions and bell peppers to it. I'm gonna saute that right on down. Then we're going to combine all these ingredients, y'all. Because all that box stuff, my family too big for me to be buying all them boxes. I'd rather make mine from scratch. Yes. And what I'm going to add to that is a little lyrus to that. Too. But actually, I'm going to add some toners over there off of them. Let that sweat. Just a little bit because we're going to add some more when we combine it. So, this ground beef is almost about ready. And that rice is a little bit over a half a bite of the paw ball. I got to see how many ounces of that rice do. But you know you adjust everything to your size of your family. Okay? Use all the ingredients and everything I show you. And you got to turn it and tweak it on the size of your family. My family big, so I have to cook big, y'all. But yes, this is going to be great, y'all. This is going to be great. Football, football day, baby. We ain't playing, y'all. We ain't playing. No, no, no. Okay. That ground beef almost ready. Mm, chopping little veggies. 
We just want to get them to steam a little bit, you know? Yes. And I got some green onions I'm going to chop off in here too. Yes. Just let that go right there, like so. Mm-hmm. This ground beef, I can go ahead and take it off. Everything ain't no more pink. You don't see no more pink. Now what you want? Y'all see that? No more pink in there. That ground beef is ready. It's ready. Let me get something over here. Okay, so we're finna go on and drain this uh ground beef. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put some water. Try some water off in the sink now. Turn that off. I'll just pour that right down in there like so. And this just need to, I just put it on long enough to take the crunch out of it. That's it. And then what I'm going to do is pour that off for now. Like so. That's all we do. Now we're going to go combine this over here with this rice. All you do, pour it off in your rice. Okay, you don't have it, it ain't gonna be right. And I tend to use a whole bottle, but this was a little under a whole bottle. But it's all good. Got a season to your own taste and liking, y'all. You're complete. As y'all see, all my seasons be the same. Because I never started growing. Everything great like that. Some garlic powder. Onion powder. Y'all, that season got the best of 
And then we got these green onions. Yes, y'all. Yes. Y'all try this dirty right. Don't do that box. Don't do that box. Ain't no boxes over here. If I want some boxing, I'll go get in the ring. Do some real boxing. We ain't doing nothing box. Okay? It smells real good in here, baby, baby. And you can don't mint any onions, any bad, anything you don't like. You can add a takeaway, like I say. I just need just the basis of how it's supposed to be done. Okay. Yes. And I just think green onions are supposed to be in everything, y'all. I put them in my grill. I'm going to do some shrimp and grits for y'all. Show y'all what I'm working with, too, one day. Okay. And you just toss them in there, too. And then, combine it all together, y'all. On dirty rice, I'm gonna get them some dirty rice. Okay. Look at this, so pretty, so pretty, y'all. It's gonna be great. Yes, I'm telling you. Shrimp up in that thing too. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, little shots too. But then we got ground beef. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Make sure you incorporate everything thoroughly. Yes, y'all. And that's all we do to that now. This is all we do. This is what I do. Can okay, man taste this right here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can't hear you. Yeah, that's good. Huh? Yeah, that's good. That's that good. what? That's good right okay. there. Okay, okay. That's good right there. Mm. And this is all we do. I'm gonna pour this up. Next thing we gonna do, we gonna start on the we're gonna start on them wings. I just got little wings because I bought some other meat that I got my uh my homeboy smoking on the grill. Yes. But this is some dirty rice. Quick, simple, and easy. Y'all gonna love it. Okay? Let's fold it up, let it finish steaming. And that's it. Some dirty rice for your soul. Some dirty rice for your soul, baby. Yes. This is cooking with dip. What my folks? 
Uh huh. I'm getting ready. Cause this is the Jacksonville Jaguars playing them uh, uh what they name? Oh, Patriots. Yeah. Okay. I am so ready, y'all. We're gonna play some cards and now. I'm gonna show y'all how to cook it with tip food for the soul and love what it gets you. So again, I'll be right back. We're gonna start on our wings and let it get it cracking, y'all. Be right back at you. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm gonna make these wings. I'm making spicy garlic ranch wings, okay? In the oven, ain't no frying. We're doing it in the oven. So I got my wings right here. Got me some napkins because you need to pack these dry. Got my cooked cheese that I already baste with some oil. You need, if you got cooking racks, you can place at the bottom of your pan that make them a little crispy. But it's okay to be a flat on the pan, okay? So you feel like you uh take your napkins. You're going to pat your chicken dry because you don't want all that moisture. Okay? Just get in here. Pat them dry like so. And if you got uh, bacon powder, add bacon powder and a little salt to these wines after you pat them dry. But if you don't have no baking powder, use a little baking soda to make it a little crispy. Okay? That's all we're doing is patting these dry. We're going to place them flat. Then salt them. Salt them. And, and a little baking soda. Not too much because it would be real nasty. If you add too much. Just separate them out. Like so. And I'm just putting them on here. In no particular order or whatever. Okay? One tray. much of that baking soda, it make it taste like fishy, like a nasty little taste, so we ain't gonna add that, we're gonna omit that today. But normally you put your salt and your baking powder in the bowl, mix it, toss it, lay it on the tray. We just light the salt to this, we're gonna bake this off, we're gonna start it at 250 degrees, bake it for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're gonna amp that temperature up to 425. 
and we're gonna bake it off for uh, 45 more minutes. Once then we'll put together our uh, sauce for this, okay? So I'm gonna go put this in the oven. Okay, y'all, so what we're doing now is making the spicy garlic sauce for the wings. I have in here three sticks of butter that's melting down. I'm gonna put three tablespoons of garlic in here, minced garlic. Just like so. I'm going to put oh Lord, I'm out. two of these uh, complete seasoning, two tablespoons. There it goes. Oh, okay, that's it anyway, y'all. Oh, you kind of need a garlic powder. Tablespoon of garlic powder. We're going to do three tablespoons of hot sauce. Actually, four. One, two, three. Okay, four. And then we're going to add this half a pack of ranch, spicy ranch. That's what we're waiting on. And today is the worst day of my life. When daddy lost his job, he was going to start house. And daddy was going to start house. And daddy was going to start house. And daddy Then we talk, we're going to toss the wings with this sauce, y'all. And this is spicy ranch garlic sauce for your wings. There we go. Let that come to a good simmer. I wish they had smell of vision. Yes, it smells so lovely. And that's it, y'all. We're going to toss our wings. Come on. You know what I'll do without you. The cheerleader in me is so... Once you do that, y'all, we're going to toss these wings in this sauce. Just like this. Spicy garlic ranch. And you toss these wings. That's all you do. Yes, sir. That's it. Spicy garlic ranch wings, y'all. They gonna love them, y'all. These just a little, little shop shop. I ain't got no whole pan because I got some smoked meat coming. Shakespeare said. If you got some fresh parsley. You put parsley on these, but these are spicy ranch garlic wings, y'all. And that's it. And again, like I said, we bake them on 250 for 30 minutes. Then I turn my fire up to 425 and bake them for 45 minutes, y'all. That's it. That's on the money, y'all. The spicy garlic ranch wings. There we go. So I'm going to wrap these up, and then we're going to come back and do them loaded potatoes, y'all. Then we're going to have some fun for this um, 
Jaguars game today. Boom. Be right back with you. Okay, y'all. Now we finna do the loaded potatoes. I cut up five and a half pounds of out of whole potatoes. Then I'm finna season up. Put them in the oven for 45 minutes. Then we're gonna take them out, put the cheese and stuff on them and make them all good and good, y'all. What we're gonna have, I got a little oil here that's gonna go on my potatoes. I got some the tonis, y'all. You know my tonis. Onion powder, paprika. We got some melted cheese. We got some mild cheddar cheese. And y'all know my real bacon bitch. And some green onions. Okay? So let's go ahead. We're gonna put this oil in here. It's just a cup of oil. Matter of fact, it's bacon grease for me, y'all. Y'all can use olive oil or whatever you choose to use. Put your tonis. Onion powder. Season them right on up, y'all. And your paprika. And that's it. Now we gotta get down in here and mix them up. And I got my two sheets here. We're gonna put them on now. We're gonna put them in the oven. 425 for 45 minutes. And let's mix these up. Mm-hmm. That's all we're gonna do to these. Yes, y'all. Make sure they all coated. Put half on each sheet and put them in the oven. Okay. Take a good little bit. Spread them on you. Sheet, half of the mouth. My Nate sheet. Y'all, you be gonna be so good. Even the my child. And again, we're going to take them to the oven. Let them bake for about 45 minutes to an hour to go to crispy. Then we we'll take them out. Then we're going to simmer them up. Okay, y'all? Okay, y'all. I'm back. I'm going to have some of these fries. And then we're going to have some fun with friends and family. And we're going to do the dog all day for the child. While guys, y'all. This is cooking with Tilt. Let me get these fries out of the oven, y'all. Yes. Pan. Wow. I love pan. All golden and crispy, y'all. I actually let these go for an hour and 15 minutes. Take them and put them in here. cheddar cheese. I'm going to pour in. I ain't even got the heater because the fries are hot. Do it like that. Get your fries on top of that. Yes, y'all. It's all we knew, y'all. The 
this is all we do, baby. Baby, put them around like that. Put the rest of your meta cheese. Now we're going to put the shredded cheese off of that. It's going to be real good and cheesy, y'all. Yeah. You people going to love it. Yes, y'all. Yes. <laughs> Whole bag on here, y'all. Then we're gonna put it back in the oven and just let it melt off. Glue it and glue it on good, y'all. Spread that around. You're baking, y'all. You're baking. Yeah. I got another pack of this I'm going to put on now. Yes, y'all. Y'all see that this cooking with tilt. Then here go the sour cream pot. We're going to put this down in the middle like so. Right there. Right here. There y'all go, y'all. Let me top it with our green onions, y'all. Give me Yes, everybody, yes. That's all you do on that, baby, and you got you some good cheesy. Loaded fries, y'all. This is cooking with tilt. We finna have a ball, y'all. I'll be right back at you with my family and friends. They're gonna eat up this food and we're gonna talk about it next. Peace.
Yeah. What's your thought about the food battle? It was great. Everything was wonderful. Good job, too. And you, sir? <laughs> okay. Good job. All right, all right, all right, all right. And you, madam? Everything was wonderful. All right. Great, great, great. Uh, real good. A plus, A plus. Eight-star restaurant. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Everything was real good. You did an A plus plus. You did a good job. Y'all go subscribe to Cooking With Two. She's the realest in the kitchen. Yeah, everything. Everything was good. Oh, good. You got tight early. Get everybody else meeting. Everybody tell, tell, YouTube face. Bye, everything was good. Bye, Cooking With Two. watching the game. I had a great time cooking. Y'all just keep on subscribing and keep on watching me cooking with Tilt, baby, because this is what I do. Yes, cooking with love, cooking for my soul, baby. So thank y'all once again. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you.